now let's see exclusive nor exclusive or exclusive nor is actually negation of exclusive or if i have a b then what do i mean by exclusive nor is it is negation of exclusive or 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 you know that exclusive or is 0 sorry exclusive or is what 1 0 1 1 0 right therefore it will be 1 0 0 1 exactly the reverse of the previous one in the exclusive or we have seen that it is a modulo 2 sum so what is modulo 2 sum whenever 0 0 is there the sum will be 0 therefore the remainder will be 0 whenever 1 1 is there the sum is 2 therefore remainder is 2 remainder is 0 right and here it is exactly a negation of that so whatever is previous one it is just a complement of that right and now if you want to write it in as a sum of min terms you can choose these two terms therefore exclusive nor can be written as like sum of these two a prime b prime plus ab this is exclusive nor right and the representation is that now let's see whether all the properties are being followed by this one or not so first property is let us see whether it is idempotent or not how can we check it take a exclusive nor a and check whether it is equal to a or not right now we don't know whether it is equal to a or not but let's see now how can we write it a a prime a prime or a a then what do i get a prime a prime is a prime plus a then what is it it is 1 so i got 1 here and i got a here therefore it is not idempotent got it and next one is let's see whether it is commutative or not what is commutativeness if i have a exclusive nor b then it should be equal to b exclusive nor a it is commutativeness right now how can i check it you just expand it and you will see it now what is a, a exclusive nor b a prime b prime plus a b then what is b exclusive nor a b prime a prime plus b a now check this this term is already there this term is already there both are equal therefore uh, this is commutative now let's see whether it is associative or not what is associative a exclusive nor b exclusive nor c if i have it if i if i associate with the right operator is it equal to if i associate with the right operator left operator which means like this are these two same again you can do same thing right so instead of putting all the values and checking it out substitute the value of a both 0 and 1 and you see whether we are getting equal or not if you get equal then you can stop there if i put a equal to 0 right instead of you know other method is you can construct the uh, two table and do it but it is a shortcut now if i put 0 what is happening here 0 exclusive nor b x nor c then what is it is lhs i am talking about lhs now what is lhs now 0 is is you no know, is with this so how can i write it 0 prime b exclusive nor prime plus 0 concatenated with b x nor c then what is this this is 1 therefore i got b x nor c whole complement it is nothing but 0 now what about rhs right hand side in the right hand side you again substitute a equal to 0 and you check it if i substitute a equal to 0 what do i get 0 exclusive nor b exclusive nor c then what is 0 exclusive nor b 0 b both complemented plus 0 b both left out exclusive not c right then what is this it is nothing but b prime exclusive not c here i got b b prime you know b c uh, completely exclusive or uh, complemented exclusive not complemented and there i got exactly uh, you know different one so at the surface both are uh, both are like they are different but now let's see whether they are really different or not so either you could expand them out and check it or you could uh, see in the two table and you could check it now let's see in the two table what is b 
exclusive not C. Okay, it is A and B, right? Let's compare it B and C, and instead of this A and B, I'll just have B exclusive not C whole complement. So what is uh, complementation of exclusive or? It is again exclusive or. The reason is exclusive or is complement of exclusive or, and therefore complement of exclusive or is exclusive or, right? Therefore, you can directly write that modulo two sum here. So what is modulo two sum? Zero, one, one, zero. Got it? And now you just take B prime C. Now what is B prime C? So B prime C is one exclusive or. C one one zero so one zero is we know that it is zero. B prime x nor C I have to I have to uh, nor one zero exclusive nor one zero is zero and next one is one one exclusive nor these two is one and then it is zero zero why because I am taking B complement it is zero zero so zero zero x nor is one and again it is one zero one sorry zero one zero one x nor is zero got it. So both are equal. You might think that these are different, but when you compare the functions, both are actually equal. Therefore, for a equal to zero, you know it's satisfied. The equation satisfied. Now let's check it by putting a equal to one. If I put a equal to one in the left hand side, what happens? One, one x nor b x nor c. Then what is this? One complement. B x nor C whole complement or one B x nor C right then what is it B x nor C now let's see R H S by putting a equal to one if I put a equal to one in R H S what happens there one x nor B C then what is this one into B plus one complement into uh, B complement Into C. Then what do we get? It is nothing but B, B x nor C. So both the expressions are same. So what can you say? Uh, the left hand side and right hand side are actually same for both values of a, a equal to zero and a equal to one. So what can you say? Here it is associative, right? So it is worth remembering this point. See. So you might think that this is equal to. This is equal to a prime x nor b, a x nor b prime. All these are equivalent, right? Similarly, previously also we have seen it, right? And one more thing is, it, you you know we already know this. If you complement it, we are going to get x to the power. That is the definition. Basic definition is this. Or if you complement this a exclusive not b, if you complement it, you are going to get a x not b, right? And now you know that this complement is equal to. Anyway, you can write this right a prime x not b that equal to a x not b prime. How? Just check the previous one. See, I am already taking the complement of this. Therefore, I know that this is equal to these two. But then, by definition, complement of x nor equal to x nor. Therefore, I got it. And the same thing could be done here also, right? So, if I take the complement, you know that I get this. But then, we already know that this complement is equal to a prime x nor b or uh, a x nor b prime. We already know this equation, right? Therefore, these two are valid because of this, this rule and the previous rule, right? So one thing is we are finding out how the equalities have to be checked. Sometimes they'll check whether uh, one operator is distributive or other operative, or other operation, which means they might ask you whether a x nor b b c is it equal to a x nor b into a x nor c. So what does this mean? They wanted to test whether x nor is distributive or and. So the, if you have to check it again, you can follow the same logic. So since we have already done this, what you could do is 
you could follow the same logic and apply here which means put a equal to 0 and then put a equal to 0 on the right both sides and then put a equal to 1 on the both sides if you get the functions to be same then you can say that they are equivalent so what is that one operator is a distributive over other operator that can be applied to any pair of operators right so anyway you know how to check it if you didn't understand the, this way of checking what you could do is best way is create the table construct the table you get eight rows and in the eight rows you evaluate first one and this one and that is going to take a lot of time and uh, in case if you have time in exam and if you want to be very sure that your answer is right go with that otherwise go with the shortcut okay